Chapter 9. Oh, X. hi. Chapter X. It's Chapter a character from Asterix. X. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. I should know that. Okay, so we're in Paradiso, and there's floating platforms everywhere. Oh. That's, a, that's like basically the entire level, the hit right here, or almost the entire level. Oh. Looks pretty. It's quite cool. Anyway, that, there's writing on that clock tower, I'm not sure you can see it with this video. Oh yeah. I can see but it. that one says, <laughs> a clock tower of the love. This is the same clock tower as in the uh, intro, if you remember from way back months ago. Mm -hmm. Aha! Invisible platforms, sort of. It's really difficult platforming, just look at it. Whoa! Yahoo! Oh, this is Mario. I just think this is a really cool level, very dynamic. <laughs> Oh, we're here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I Yeah, we're back in the beginning bit, but now it's in Paradiso. Uh-huh. So it's slightly different. I think I was trying to do a special, like, torture attack here, but I never got around to doing it. But basically, if you do punch, 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 kick, kick, and then you press punch, She'll do a special torture attack. Not really, it's not really a torture attack, it's like a punish attack. Based on the weapon you're holding in your hands. Mm -hmm. So if she's wearing a whip, for example, she'll like spank his butt. And if she's got the sword, she'll like stab him. And the gun, she whips pistol whips. Uh -huh. uh, and with Durga, she kind of like, I guess, digs into them. I don't know, eventually I'll show it off for fly. I've never seen it- oh, I, don't, I shouldn't mention that weapon yet. I haven't seen it yet. You've been naughty. Yes, I was naughty. <laughs> so do you know all these combos, like, from the top of your head? Uh, yeah. Oh man. Like, normally when you first play, you don't need to, you don't need to memorize combos, because you just smash buttons, normally. Mm -hmm. And you usually find a combo that works for you. But if you want to be pro at it, you should know what combos to use at yeah. what time. Yeah, I imagine so. Oh yeah, if you put the skates equipped and you s and you skate for about three seconds, you'll see this uh, speed trail come up behind her. Um, if you do that and you let go of the left stick and then hit the kick button, she'll do that weird she do that pirouette, which I did before, and you can control where that pirouette goes. Bird. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you pluck some angels or something? There's like Sorry? feathers every Did you pluck some angels or some or something? Because there's like feathers everywhere. No, Paradiso just has feathers everywhere. Everyone's molting. It'd be like if you were in the human world and all the all these little like dusties in the air, that's like dandruff. It's sort of like that. <laughs> <clears throat> Get an alpha. Mm. So this is a new kind because we got introduced to, introduced to this concept a couple of chapters ago. But you can't attack them unless you're out of your body. General trick for this is to have the gaze of despair equipped because if you don't have that equipped, they'll attack your body. Which is lying there in the corner. Huh. Uh, and at the beginning of that fight, I did some sort of weird witch time parry. If you've got the moon of Maha Kalaha, I think it's called, and you push the stick towards an enemy at the right time, you can perform 
uh, a counter and you have extra knowledge time. And the attack you get for each weapon you have is different when you when you perform that. So with the sword you get some sort of... Uh, you get a charge attack and with the pistols you get a headbutt. Um, I can't remember the other ones, but yeah. But it's good because you get extra knowledge time. So how do you go outside your body? It's like a command so or something? When you start when you start this uh, Alfheim, it's it. like anything you can do at that point is go out of body. Okay. And you, so you put your body in the corner and yeah. And if you don't have it equipped, they'll attack your body and that will get rid of your luck, your hits. Uh huh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Like the purple, uh. Yeah, the thing. purple dome thing. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I don't remember if I mentioned that. I probably did, but anyway. When you do a torture attack and you mash the button, it says punish it in, danger in demon script. Mm -hmm. uh, also when you make lollipops in the in your in your menu thingy, it says concoct, concoct. I didn't mention that one the last time though, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. What's that planet thing floating in there? <laughs> it's the enemy for this level. Oh, oh, it is. <laughs> oh, you'll see later. Spoiler! It kind of has like a Super Mario Galaxy feeling. Because you're on a planet. <laughs> And we can jump from planets and we can jump to different planets. Well, there's no planets here, just this one ball. Unleash the pain! I found a key. Huge ass key. Someone mentioned in the thread with the drinking game that you should drink every time Bayonetta makes a sexual reference. Oh man. So you'd be pretty pissed by the end of a chapter. Oh. <laughs> so here's what I was talking about with the enemy. It's an uh it's a Minecraft. It's a Lego it's a Lego ball. Yeah. Minecraft ball. Can you even make balls in Minecraft? I've never really played Minecraft that extensively. No. Oh, so yeah. Um, so you're running away from that thing. Um, if you get hit by it, you'll fall off and you'll get eaten by, it, by a snake. Ah. And you'll die. Yeah. So, and generally the best way is to just use the panther and dodge the lightning strike so you can get which time. Slow down time. And yeah, the combo rank isn't that hard to get here. It's just a matter of stopping to attack everything. Stop the rock. Stop. I guess you could. You've been naughty. 
An Ornat's dick. Staff sticking out. Oh, you guys remember the last episode where I talk about strippers? <laughs> she does pole dancing here. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember if this has been done yet, but yeah, <laughs> she pole dances to turn the, the cogs. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> She's not as pro as, like, you know, what was it, Tiara or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know. God, that was like the trashiest looking strip club. I've seen yet. Not to say I've been in lots, but you know. Oh, it's back. Okay, so you're in a chap new verse, and the ball will attack, attack randomly. you randomly. It's quite annoying. Is there like a jack in the box or something? Yes, it. Like, a number of these chests will contain an enemy, so you gotta be careful when you they, when you open them, you should dodge. Because then you can go witch time. You're gonna have to kill the big ball of Lego at some point. Yeah, mm. but not yet. Mm. But if you fight down in the main area, he will. The ball will attack you. But if you take, if you fight up here, as you can see, you won't get any crushing attacks, which is uh -huh. good. Leave me alone. Oh yeah, and if you get hit by the ball, then you'll get squished, kind of like a. Wally Coyote style, I suppose. <laughs> you know, she'll get flat and they're like, Doo -doo. There's a crow right there, but you can't see it. Just behind the tree. And I forgot to cut out all the running up to it, so yeah, I'm sorry. Bad. This just shows you how annoying catching crows is. Uh huh. Why do you have to catch those things again? Because this is 100% LP. Oh yeah, that's right. Show off. At least I'm not doing all of the work. <laughs> Does that count as a sexual innuendo? <laughs> yes, it's a would. lock and key, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot. Oh my god, moving platform section. I am so bad at platforming, just look at me go. Should have played more Mario. I never actually finished a Mario game, I don't think. Shame. And the only thing I finished was Yoshi's Island. Oh, Yoshi's Island! I love that I, I game. Loved except, that game. except loved when so you got much. hit, because that baby and the was bloody so baby fucking is like, annoying. Wah, wah. Hey, fuck you, baby. Yeah, I'll burst your bubble. Ha! <laughs> uh, oh, bad uh, pun. <laughs> take a shot for a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new enemy type. It's a lame one. It's a ship. It's a kinship. It's very, it's oh, very similar to like really more like more puns. You know, very similar to like a Egyptian, ancient Egypt thing. But yeah, you can parry those things using the uh -huh. But sometimes it doesn't work, which is really weird. Because in that case, I just pushed towards the direction of the ship and it was fine. But in later ones, sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, there's more ships. Where'd you come from? They have a couple of attacks, but they're pretty easy to see. Uh huh. Easiest one being the uh, the rocket, rocket. Tee. Oh man, you're all going all matrix on his ass. <laughs> Dodging bullets and shit. Yeah.
But yeah, these guys are really annoying because if you get stuck, if you get stun locked in the um, the rocket attack, then you'll mm. pretty much die. I think. Yay! We can go to hell. I think. Oh yeah, by the way, that LP there is probably like one of the better weapons. Nice German made. You can tell it's yeah, you can't you be can't better. beat German made weapons, uh, can you? That's true. Yeah. Oh but yeah, there's an Alfheim over here. Of course. On a platform. Is this over there? Oh, oh yeah. I would probably have missed that. Well, the thing is, it doesn't. The game doesn't hide it. Like in the cutscene to show the uh, changes to the level, it, uh -huh. it was there. But you probably wouldn't be looking there anyway. But yeah, it is. Uh, it's pretty easy to see. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, it's pretty easy with this bitch. Oh. So there, there's your huh. perfect parry. It's probably a better example because you can see it better. And I'm sorry, person who mentioned it in the thread, but I won't show off the uh, pummel attack this time either. And Stingy Bitch only gives you one halo. Oh. Women. I know. That's a familiar sight. People ice skating. <laughs> Still? Seriously? Well, not right now, but... I mean, my country is supposed to be, like, crazy about ice skating, but I kinda hate it. I hate it too, because last time I went in Germany, I hit my head. <laughs> I think I, w I would say I was mildly concussed. <laughs> I fell back and hit the back of my head. It was pretty awful. Ow. Okay, for Trophy Horse, there is a trophy for hitting all of the apples here in the tentacles. And you just missed one. Oh, multiple Well, it's pretty ones. easy, because what you can do is you can press the shoot button. Which oh, okay. is square in this shoot case, and you can float. You can float. And then aim yourself into the apples. Mm -hmm. but it's just faster to go for like this, honestly. Just like, yeah, fuck that. That a sexual reference? I don't know. Would you? Not quite, I guess. No. Surprisingly, I did that in one take. Last time, in my in my test recording, it took me a billion tries or something. Uh -huh. and I was so happy because it took me one take. Because the editing is a lot better. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This jerk. Wait, hey, what's that? It's a moving platform type thing. Yeah, well, there's On like easy a gate or something. Oh, that was the store. Oh, 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 okay. On easier difficulties, that uh, moving golden path thing will be solid. Oh. Because, you know, even bad people can't platform it out. It really, really suck. Huh. 
it was just so slow, I suppose. She speaks Japanese now. We're we're on like the night the tenth chapter and you still don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things to remember in this game. Oh, yeah, it's the bad thing about this game, I guess. <laughs> so here's the last bit of the LP. It's a pretty good weapon, I suppose. Is it a car? I'm just gonna throw <laughs> cars at people. German cars. <laughs> Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. on a good one this time. Ooh, you really get to lay eyes on this one, I tell you what. Oh, it's a gun. Huh? But yeah, we got bazookas. Ooh, bazookas. And I forgot to show this off, because I don't go to the store that often, but we, whenever you get a new weapon, or certain new weapons, you get Umbra and Elegances. And they can change your costume. In rather subtle ways, but they can change Ooh. it. Exciting. Indeed. So I'm gonna buy all of them. Because I am loaded up. I think I wasn't really sure what I wanted to buy and show off at this point, because I was thinking, hmm, should I buy Pulley's Butterfly? And I'm thinking, no, wait a sec, I don't ever get hit, I don't need that. <laughs> so no, we'll buy the alternate Durgas, which gives you two pairs of Durgas. Which means you can wear it on both arms and legs. Ah. Durr. At the same time. And we'll buy upon pearls because magic is important. More moon pearls. More! Just snorting this shit up. Haha, mm -hmm. -ha, you are one short. Does that count as a butt shot? Yeah, take a shot. It's, pretty, it's a pretty good shot with his butt shot there. Mm -hmm. Okay, time to show off new costumes and new weapons. So you need to equip them or set them first. Where does she keep all these weapons? She has In like a, trans a magical bag. It's a magical bag behind her behind her neck, like yeah. <laughs> She's, you know, she's, she's got a costume made out of hair. Surely she can make a, you know, a super-sized compartment. Okay, oh, so this that's is, this so is, hot. This oh. is the Kilgore weapon <laughs> and the Kilgore uh, blah blah costume. Kilgore, by the way, is a reference to a character of the same name from Apocalypse Now. That's the Durga, oh, yeah. Durga co costume on the hands. You get cat ears. And if you do it on yeah. the feet, you get a tail. For the cat ears, though. You can see it better in the electric. If I think if I show it off. Oh, oh there yeah, there they are. Yeah. Oh, oh god. We don't want to annoy the people. <laughs> Damn it, now it's in my head. <laughs> oh. There's the uh, Odette one. You get a tutu and. Ooh. Some sort of thing in your head. Also hot. And that's the uh, whip one, which looks really awful in my opinion. I mean, thigh high boots, that's just so 80s. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was the taunt for Durga. I'd, for, I'd oh. forgotten I hadn't shown it off. So that was, that's the taunt for Durga. And I here's the one for Kilgore, which a... you'll probably never see because I never have it on the hands. I actually didn't know, didn't know that, that was there until couple of months ago. 
It's like, huh, I didn't know about that. No. And sadly, there's no costume for Shiraba. Mm -hmm. Which would be nice, because I think everyone uses it. Like, how they have it equipped the entire time during the game. They're like the the angry blocks from Mario. Oh yeah, what do you call those? Chomp blocks yeah, the, the, or something? The, yeah, I, I, I forgot. <laughs> this one just this one just doesn't have a face. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if I had a face, it'd be very mean. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. I will bash this. Platform. Uh, I'm so mad at the world. Why can't they appreciate me for my blockiness? Yeah. I don't need to lose weight. I'm perfect the way I am. Here's a hidden bullet there. And these Sneaky. these these breezy guys. Fuck the breezy guys. Uh huh. Cutscene. So finally, we meet the enemy. Like the real enemy? Oh. This enemy. Oh, it's not is. actually an angel. It's actually a, a cult device, and according to the documentation, it was created by the witches and the sages. So, the golem has a couple of different forms. There's that dragon form, like this one here. Uh, there's the fists that you saw a bit earlier. Uh, it's uh, what super else? effective. <laughs> Go look for your fist attack. I use paper, you die. What else? There's a bird form, and there is a centipede form. I think I may be missing something. I'm guessing you just have to keep hitting core, whatever it is. Yeah. Because, well, if you can't hit the, hit the core and you can't trigger which time, then you can just hit the golem from the outside and eventually okay. you'll get dizzy. Like, eventually you'll get dizzy and you can hit well on it for about five seconds. And the combo rank here is really high, which is why I'm using Electric Doga. Electric Doga is really weak, so you can get high combo points for low damage. And it becomes very useful if you want to grind for halos. Oh, you will like this torture attack. Take a shot. Uh, the summon for this this wicked weavy thingy is not very clear. Like, I don't even know if, bother, I don't know if I should bother saying what it is because it's not very clear. What the the person who translated it isn't very sure what if it is that. But she says something. <laughs> so yeah. Ow. Come on. You're up there. <laughs> she needs to run and have a, a ribbon of rainbows come mm -hmm. from behind her. Ass. <laughs> well, I, ha I had no idea about her. this, but apparently if you go to the original Nyankat video on YouTube, like the... The slider bar on the video is an actual Nyan cut and a rainbow, which sounds pretty cool, but I've never seen that <laughs> yet. And yes, here's another crow. Fuck you, crows. Okay, you may think the level is finished, but no, there is a hidden Alfheim all the way back at the beginning of the level. But first, I have to show you off the Kilgore glitch. Kilgore Glitch is um, something which apparently wasn't planned, but it exists anyway. Basically, if you have Durga equipped in the feet and uh, Kilgore equipped in the feet on your other set. Okay, so that's the attack there that you want to use. It's punch, 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 and you mash kick. But if you, if you use the set with Durga on the feet first, and then when you press the kick button, you switch weapons, you will do the, the whole load more damage. Like you see there she... she... you know... 
shoots a lot more rockets than normal. Mm -hmm. So that's a kill glitch. Um, you probably don't want to use it because it's pretty game breaking, and it might actually give you bad combo points. So I won't be using it in the game, but I did it there for demonstration purposes. More you know. I don't know how people think of these things. Like, oh yeah, I might try to switch the the, the, the weapon sets while I'm doing this, this combo. How do they find this shit? Which fucker put the Alphine room at the beginning of the level? That's just mean. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. Damn you, level designers. Oh, and I mentioned that there was certain moves that don't count as kicks or punches for these. One of the moves is if you do a perfect parry with the sword. Because you know how you do if you do a perfect parry with the sword, she does that charge attack? That doesn't count. Another one is with Kilgore on the feet, if you step off, then she'll shoot some rockets, and that does a fair bit of damage. I couldn't shoot off with these guys though, because these guys are aggressive as hell. But maybe I'll show it off in a later video or something. And because I remembered, I'll cut out all the backtracking. <laughs> Yay. Hey, <laughs> we're back. End of level. You are naughty. No, mummy is the best in this case. Pure platinum, yay! <laughs> yay, only hmm, seven or eight more to go. Mm hmm. And then it's finished. Yes. The game. Yay, Toy World! Oh. We're still in Toy World. <laughs> Just a little bit All right. higher. Alright, that's it. See you guys next time. Ta ta.